Hello, and welcome back to the next episode of our Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord campaign, playing as Arthur Pendragon, the Vlandian adventurer. Uh, last time we did a bit of trading, made some money, ran around the map, fought some sea raiders and, and bandits and whatnot, and uh, did some arena stuff and lost a tournament, so <laughs> that was fun. Um, but we'll now I think we'll go to Jakulan and try and participate in the tournament there, which is hopefully still um, still going on. So yeah, we'll make our way over there now. And I'm still going to keep an eye on these. See, because 15 for olives seems quite cheap. But it's going to be hard to sell olives in Vlandia. That's the only trouble. Like, we could probably sell them for a good price if we're willing to trek halfway across Calradia. Alright, so there's a, uh, a tournament going on here. So there's two lords fighting in this tournament, and they're offering a hooked javelin for the victor. So let's join. And we're going to bet on our... Uh, on our victory again. Oh dear. Come on, don't die to him. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, that was lucky. You just have to not die to this guy. And we should be alright. Okay, that was a good hit. I know this guy's coming, but I reckon I can take this guy with just a sword. There we go, got him. Alright. I was lucky. Qualified for the next round. We'll bet again. Okay, this time we're on horseback, which is good. Okay, we <laughs> he blocked our, uh, our thrust there, unfortunately. And we got him on that one, which is good. Now we have to be... Okay, good, we got him. He was the biggest threat. And the next biggest threat is... You would think it would be the guy with the crossbow, but it's actually the guy with the shield. Um, and he's down, which is good. Okay. Now the biggest threat is the guy with the crossbow, and he's also the only threat left, but we got him too. It's just because when you're powering up the strike when you're charging, sometimes it's um, pretty easy for them to shoot you with the crossbow. Damn it, we spawned with the crossbow again. Alright, we're gonna go for their crossbow guy. Oh crap, I almost hit our guy. Alright, we should win this round on account of our teammate here. Should finish him off. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we're in the final round. We're going up against the Vlandian Billman. We've staked 600 gold on this, so we'll get 1,600 if we win. Okay, hopefully we, we win, because he's a Vlandian billman, which means he is uh, actually good with this weapon. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, okay, phew. Man, that was lucky. I thought we were going to get trounced there. There were a few times where uh, our swing got blocked. But all right, cool. We won the tournament. That's our first tournament, beating the Vlandian billman in the final round. We got three renown for that. Uh, we won this hooked javelin, which we'll probably just sell. And we also got 1.6 thousand gold on account of our bets that we placed on ourselves. Yeah, we'll definitely sell that. Another 1,100 gold there. Nothing to complain about. Um, I don't think there's anything that's really worth buying for trading purposes. Actually, is there, are there any trade goods that are cheap? Oil is cheap now, but the thing is, oil's, oil I always find is difficult to sell. It's always like cheap everywhere, um, and it's it's hard to find a place where it's actually expensive to buy. Okay, leather, that's 44% cheaper than average. We'll buy some leather. Might as well invest there. You know what, we'll buy some oil as well, 
until it's uh, just under average. Enough gold for that? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, anything else that's worth buying here? See, if we had salt, we could sell it for a really nice price. So what you need, you just need like enough men and enough capital and then you can just buy goods cheap and just loop the map and sell them when they're um, above the, you know, above the price that you bought for them basically. Or whenever you get to a town or city that has a red, um, red zone. We'll put another, like a red uh, mark on the price. Put another point into trade and we can actually level athletics. So we can either go morning exercise, morning exercise rather increases our movement speed by 3% and foot troops will gain 5% movement speed when we're captain of an infantry formation. Or we can get maximum hit points plus five and foot troops will gain plus five hit points. Now this is a party leader bonus. Whereas this is a captain bonus. The 3% the movement speed is nice, but we're gonna be on on horseback for the most part so we'll go with well built I think it'll just provide us more of a, a bonus more often um, and actually we should ask the arena master oh we can't it's closed now because it's night time I was just thinking we should ask him where the next uh, how much was followers 15 where the next tournament's going to be and maybe we can try join that one as well Eighteen seems reasonably cheap. That's very cheap for fish. I mean, we could just buy all of that, but then we'll struggle to sell it. Um, what about the trade goods here? So we could sell oil here, we'd get an alright price. Leather we won't really make too much on. Um, you know what? Let's let's buy all that fish. That's such a cheap price. Even for butter, that's a cheap price. It seems cheap anyway. Do we have enough? No. All right. We'll forget the butter. And in fact, maybe actually just forget the fish. What we'll do. So even the hides are pretty cheap. Uh, we'll just buy it until... I mean, we'll just buy it all. I mean, it's quite cheap. We should have enough. The only thing is it's really going to over-encumber us. We'll just buy it until we're a little bit over our encumbrance, but not too much. Actually, you know what? We'll just buy it all. Screw it. We'll just buy it all. We're still going at an alright speed. I mean, it is slower, undoubtedly, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not a crawl speed. And we're going through a forest at night, so, you know, once we're out of the forest, out of the snow, and during the day, it will be a little faster. Though we've got to go through the forest and snow to get up to Praven. some decent prices here and no not really not really decent prices at all um, thing is we'll have to sell some stuff just to get enough gold to keep us going so we'll just offload two of the leather we'll go to ox hall I like how the character on the map matches what your character is actually wearing. All right, good price for leather. Kind of wish I just held on to the leather at Oxhall now. And that's also a pretty good price for fish. We'll just sell a little bit though. Um, 
not a bad price for oil. That is more than what we more than what we paid for it. But let's go up to um, Rovalt. Actually, is there is there an is there, is that a tournament on in this town? I didn't check, but we'll check this time. There is a tournament. Cool. I think that symbol is the tournament symbol. So we'll join. Um, there are no lords who plan to compete, so the prize is just pretty low tier splint van braces. But we can make some money off uh, off betting, and this would actually be a useful upgrade to us. So let's um, let's join. Okay, we're on horseback. Oh, everyone's on horseback. Okay. Just have to try not to die, and if we're lucky, maybe get one kill. I just want to get one kill because if we get one kill, we should uh, be able to progress to the next round. Oh my goodness, we should focus on hitting the same guy, I guess. Okay, three. Alright, we'll definitely go through to the next round. Um, just have to get as many as we can. a bit of a painful round. At least we won. Alright, we just have to be careful not to get... Oh my goodness. I was a bit worried there because I kept accidentally thrusting instead of swinging, but that's okay. All right, we're going up against the Valandian Vanguard. Oh, jeez, bill hooks again. Oh, these are just tough to use. Oh, see, I don't know how his swing. Okay, we won that one by the skin of our teeth. Maybe I should try kicking a bit more in, in those sort of situations. All right, this is a bit better, sword and shield. We should win this one. Should be in the bag, but never speak too soon. Yeah, we got some good hits on him there. There we go, all right, he's down. Cool. All right, it's our second tournament win, beating the Vlandian champion. We get another three renown, and we got the splint van braces, which is a good upgrade for us, and 1.6 thousand gold. So making a bit of a name for ourselves now. The real question is, do we wear them or sell them? It is worth 860, which is a lot, but I think we'll, I think we'll wear them. It's a pretty big upgrade, um, and yeah. Or should we sell them? I think we'll just sell them. It, it, it is a good upgrade, but you know, we can win more and I'd rather have the money, to be honest, at this stage of the game. I don't want to get too powerful too quickly as well. Alright. Let's head up to Rovalt. Up there, noting that we're still 
exceeding our capacity at the moment. Are they actually going to attack us? No, okay. They're running past us. That is cheap crane. We will buy that cheap crane. Now we're definitely going to be over our capacity at the moment, but that's okay. We're not going at a crawl speed yet. We'll buy that grain as well, also quite cheap. We'll buy that butter, and we'll buy that cheese. And we'll head on up to robot. Okay, now we are going <laughs> at a crawl speed, so hopefully we can sell some of the fish or something at Rovolt or Ostacan because uh, otherwise it's going to take a while and obviously we're you know the mercy of bandits uh, to a certain extent um, all right well we're definitely going to be able to sell the grain the fish we can sell some of we'll just sell uh, I don't want to sell too much we'll sell there yeah. That's actually not going to help that much. Um, do I want to buy all that grain? That's a lot of grain. We don't have the money for it, I don't think. Not to mention the capacity. All right, we got some more trade perks. So we can get Caravan Master. Party can carry 30% more weight, and it marks item prices relative to average price. Noting this one only applies when we're the Quartermaster of our party, but right now we will be because there's no one else. Um, or we can get market dealer. Workshops have 20% less upkeep and it marks items, uh, item prices relative to the average price. Um, party can carry 30% more weight. Well this is bugged anyway because I've been able to see item prices relative to the average price already so that must be bugged. Um, 20% less upkeep for workshops, party can carry 30% more weight. I mean, that is useful, but we can get a quartermaster that has that ability, and then, like, has that perk, and then we'll get the benefit of this. Whereas, we're the clan leader, like, no one can replace us, so we might as well go market dealer. Um, we don't have workshops now, but we will, so it's future proofing a bit. But it should be, um, should be worthwhile. Ooh, okay. Now we, we're gonna get it. Oh, okay, we didn't get attacked there. I thought we might have, but I think that other war band scared them off a bit. Alright, let's um, buy pro products here. That's a good price for iron as well. Very good price for iron. We'll buy that, because it's so cheap. We'll buy the grain too, just to keep the monopoly. <laughs> Oops, don't need to wait in the village. All right, let's keep going. Let's try and make it to Ostakin. We may have made a, a terrible blunder by overburdening ourselves to such an extent. Hopefully we don't pay for it, but we very well might. We'll stop in this village. See what they've got as well. Fur for 155, 61% cheaper than average. Still seems quite expensive to me. I'll leave it, I think. I don't trust that price. Vortex party. He's running around on foot. Almost made it to Ostakin. Uh, there must be a bandit hideout somewhere near here. And it looks like there's another tournament going on, so we will enter that if we can get there in time. cheap mules. We could buy mules. That would help our problem here. Alright, what can we sell? We can sell fish. Making a decent amount on that. We can sell grain as well. We'll sell all the grain because we bought it so cheap. Like We're still making a good price on it. We'll sell all the butter. It's a very good price. The cheese we'll sell as well. Um... We want to hang on to, what's this? It's near its average price. I think we'll hang on to the iron ore. It won't be consumed by our troops. So that's a positive. We'll buy the silver. We'll buy the tools. At least until they stop being green. Um, 
Yeah, see, Rovalt says I can buy it for 80. Okay, so we're still going to exceed our capacity, but only by 0 0.03, so we should be alright. So that was a good good trade, we got 5 skill points there. Uh, we'll wait until morning, hopefully that tournament's still on and we can enter. Yep, cool. Join the tournament. Two lords fighting, so another hook javelin. The more lords that fight in the tournaments, the, um, the better the prizes. But um, it, it can be hard to get enough lords in one settlement. Okay, I'm going to try go for these two crossbowmen because they should be easy kills. Okay, or not. He actually got a good parry there. Okay, someone stole my crossbowman kill. That's annoying. Alright, well as long as we don't die, <laughs> we'll be alright. Okay, we got him. That's good. One kill. We should be able to get this guy as well. Okay, good. Ooh, I thought that was an enemy. I think this guy's a lord. Uh, no, Blandian Sergeant. So, are we on? Oh, no, one more. What did I hit there? I hit his horse, did I? Where are the horses? They've all run off the map. Anyway, he'll die now. Cool. Alright. Next stage of the tournament. Wager another 150. This is a... Ah, uh, another bill hook. 1v1. <laughs> I don't like these. They make me nervous. Okay, that seemed to work. Oh no! <laughs> God damn it. Ah, uh, I was holding block and I hit E at exactly the wrong time. Anyway, well we lost that tournament. That's alright, at least we didn't bet too much. It wasn't the greatest prize in, in any way, so it's not the end of the world. Alright, we'll make our way back down. Yeah, moving much faster now. Once we get back to Saga, we'll try and do some quests for... Oh wow, that's a lot of bandits. Um, do we want to try fight them? Let's try fight them. Hear that whistling and howling? That's not the wind. It's the ghosts of those who defied us. Prepare to join them. That is a lot of troops. 48. Whew, we might not be able to... Hopefully we've got enough archers. I don't think we do though, but let's see. Okay, we definitely don't. But maybe we can use some of the terrain to our advantage. So let's put our... How do I rotate the camera? Can I rotate the camera? Okay, we'll put our archers up there. Put our infantry over there. We'll put our cavalry over here. And um, might readjust these guys a little bit. Put them up there. Put the infantry right here. Cavalry right. Oh no, not, not everyone. Just the cavalry right there. Alright, so we're going to have a lot of guys coming in here, and I think. I could be wrong, but Mountain Bandits, I think they've got um, bows, or throwing weapons at least. It looks like they've got some cavalry too. This might have been a mistake. Um, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Good. 
But yeah, I do have to be careful because they've got throwing javelins. Okay, we'll get the horsemen to follow me. Actually, get them to charge. get the horseman to follow me now. Try to get this last cavalry guy down. Uh, it's a bit laggy. It's the fog, I think. Ah, bloody... Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. Ah, god damn it. That's, that's going to be a wash for sure. We're definitely going to lose this. Not enough troops to take them out. Yeah. Uh, one left. Okay. Alright. Well, we've, we're going to be, be captured by the bandits, unfortunately. And we just have to hope that we can, um, we can escape. Time will tell. Alright, so we've been taken captive. Might as well level up. Um, so we've got another perk. We can go braced. We'll keep at bay. So braced gives us polearm attacks that can dismount, ignore 15% damage resistance, and infantry troops in the formation have their damage decreased by 10% against cavalry. Or we can get keep at bay. Polearm thrust attacks ignore 25% knockback resistance. And we get a governor perk increases militia recruitment. Uh, I don't know what's better. Part that can dismount, ignore 15%. Polearm attacks, thrust, ignore 20, knock back. So I guess this means we're more likely to dismount cavalry. And this one we're more likely to knock back. I mean, they both seem like infantry focused, but the, this one might actually be useful for cavalry, like knocking other enemy cavalry off their horse. So we'll go with Braced. I think that is a cavalry perk anyway, because it looks like there's two horses in the icon. Uh, as for the focus point, we will drop this one into Athletics, because our learning limit, you can see, is getting pretty low. So we'll drop a focus point into that. Um, grab Braced. All right, and now we just have to, to wait and hope that... Um... Oh, cool. We got saved by... Ospia's party. So we'll quickly go to this village. If we can make it there. Okay, we made it. We'll recruit all these guys. We'll wait here for some time and then we'll leave and we'll go to this village and hopefully yeah, we'll recruit him. And we kept our iron ore and our oil, which is good. We lost our horses though. Unfortunately, we lost all our our sumpter horses, or most of them anyway, it seems. Did we lose anything else? I don't think we did. I think we've got all our gold still. Let's see if we can, oh, God damn it. Um, all right, let's just pay these guys off. They want 392, I'll just pay that. This is a dangerous part of the world, man. Like, there's lots of bandits running around up here. Uh, can we make it past those ones? Yes, okay. Hopefully there's enough recruit. Nope, one recruit. Damn it. I needed more. Please, hopefully there's enough recruits here. Okay, two. That's not a huge amount. Uh, we can get some mule. We'll do that. So otherwise, actually, let's check this settlement as well. See if we can buy some sumter horses and mules. Yeah, we can. Just buy them all. Oh, no, 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 we won't buy them all. Our herd speed will be massive. We'll buy two. Okay, that's enough. Once we recruit some more troops, then we can get some more. But we just need to be careful up here. Okay, good, got some more troops there. Okay, we'll get the two squires. That's very cheap. We'll buy that. Oh, we did. We had silver ore before. We must have lost. 
Or am I forgetting? Did we already... Oh, he would have stolen all the recruits, yeah. So, lords can also um, recruit from villages, so sometimes you'll get to a village, there won't be many people to recruit, it's because the lord has already gone through there and recruited everyone. Okay. Alright, we'll make our way back down to Sargot. Just check the arena. Oops. Oh crap, we're out of food. How are we out of food? I thought we had heaps of food. We'll just buy some grain. That'll be enough to keep us going for a little bit. Uh, we're just under capacity, but yeah, that'll do. I didn't even realize. That's why our party morale's so low. All right, we'll go to Oxal. And we need to fight some looters and level our party up a bit because our troops are all rookies okay it's not a bad price for ore just sell a little bit uh, it's not great actually though but the silver ore that's all right we'll sell some of that and the oil Can we buy any horses? No. What about pottery? Rovault for 120, Ostacan for 147. How much below is that? 67. Alright, we'll buy some pots. Sure. You will pay. Okay, I don't have enough. Cannot afford that much pottery. Let's just make it so we get... I'm gonna just break even. Uh, we'll make it so we pay 200, that's fine. Check Pravind, maybe we can sell them at Pravind. That looter band would be a good one to attack, but we need to probably dump some of our inventory first. Now I'll grab some more horses and mules. Not yet at her capacity. 14.6. Okay, that's fine. That's equal to the amount of troops we have. That's probably enough. And we can sell the pottery for a decent price here, so we'll dump all of that. We'll dump some more silver ore. That's a decent price for iron, so we'll sell enough like that. Um, anything we should buy from here? It's pretty cheap hides. It's also pretty cheap. Linen is still so expensive. That's quite cheap. That's also quite cheap. We don't have enough for that though. We'll just pay a little bit. Let's see if we can go back to Oxhall and sell all of that fish. Sell some of the iron ore. And the fish we can sell pretty much all of it. Close to it. I will just sell that much. Okay. And we'll make our way down now to Sargot. go pick up some quests from some of the villages and see how many we can complete. See if we can find some looters as well and level our troops up a bit. Ooh, those sea raiders really want to fight us. Are they going to catch us? No. They won't be able to. Normally I would take the fight, but 
because all of our troops got wiped out. Our guys are a little weak. Oh, that's a really good price, uh, price for fish, so we'll sell all our fish. Um, that's a good price for the mules as well, so we'll just sell all of them. We can, In fact, we'll sell the sumter horses too. We can always buy some more. We'll go down to Karas. We'll hit Savinth, and we should be able to buy some more horses from there. Oh, we spotted a hideout over there. We should take that out. Might be a quest for us to take that out, actually. Um, let's see. All right, cool. We'll get some Sumter horses and mules. And, yeah, Bandit Base near Seventh. So let's speak to Anbard of Seventh. Hi, so who are you then? My name is Arthur, sir. May I ask your name? I'm Anbard. I've lived here. I've lived all my life here, working the land, as do my kin. A lot of the people here in Sabbath, the common farmers and craftsmen like me, they like me to speak for them. I heard you may need some help with a problem. There's this old ruin, a place that offers a good view of the roads and is yet hard to reach. Needless to say, it attracts bandits. A new gang has moved in, and they've been giving hell to the caravans and travellers passing by. So you need someone to deal with these bastards. Any bandits there can easily spot and evade a large army moving against them. But if you can enter the hideout with a small group of determined warriors, you can catch them unaware. Any other way? Alternatively, if you can assign a companion with ten or so men to the task, they can do the job. Alright, well I'll go myself, because I don't have any companions yet. And now he's given us a quest to um, find the bandit camp, which was already over here, but it gives us directions on the map, but we've already, we already know where it is, so that's fine. And we should have 30 days to complete that quest, so we've got a bit of time, we don't have to do it right away just by two three four five that's 22 isn't it yeah buy some horsies it's a good price for iron ore so we'll dump a bit more of that also not a bad price for grain that's a very cheap price for linen compared to where you know what else I've seen it for so we'll certainly pay 1800 for that and you know what, we're just going to run back to Saga quickly and hope that we can sell the linen there for a, a good price. Because where else did we see linen for a really high price? It doesn't tell us. It might tell us when we're in the actual trade screen. I mean, look, that's still double what we paid for. We'll just sell. Oh, I'll just dump it all. That's still a nice quick profit. Uh, we should buy some more food though. But all the food here is quite expensive. Alright. Let's find some looters. There you go. There's some right there. Can we catch them? Where'd they go? Come here. Uh, we will catch up to them. All right, let's fight them. Get our troops some experience. Just hit ready. Just get them to charge. So we'll probably lose some recruits here, but at least they will um, hopefully level up a bit. Oh, I forgot we had the cavalry as well. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. I'm riding way too close to the um, the enemy infantry, but it's sort of hard to see with all the bushes everywhere. Okay. Cool. So we lost two recruits, but we got some prisoners. We got some gold. A bunch of them leveled up. We'll make them all crossbowmen. to I guess we'll go back up to Pravin we'll recruit we'll recruit those two actually we'll recruit those two
And you can actually recruit looters to your party if you want. Um, if you want to play a game where you're really focusing on the roguery stat. Um, if you capture looters and just hold them in your party for long enough, sometimes they'll join you. And, you know, you can accept. Like, like they'll offer to join you. You can accept. Sometimes they'll just run away. But I think the higher your roguery stat and the more sort of deplorable your character is, the less likely they are to just run off. Um, but yeah, I've never played a campaign using roguery like that, so I'm not overly familiar with it. Alright, we'll buy some more grain because that is insanely cheap. In fact, we'll buy we'll buy a lot of grain. And we'll sell some of it on the way back, and we'll buy all the fish as well. Uh, grapes we'll leave for the moment and dates will leave as well pottery will buy but not more than the average price we'll buy that much is there a tournament somewhere nearby? Let's find out. Um, <clears throat> yeah, are there any tournaments going on in nearby towns? One at Galen, one at Jakula. Alright. Well, that was where I was going to head next anyway, so we may as well. Now, if we wanted to... So our health is going to increase over time. But if we wanted to like increase it much faster, we could just wait in a town, or wait in a village, or just wait on the campaign map like without moving is the equivalent of like camping um, and we would have a much faster time in recovering our health if we did it that way so there's another quest for another bandit base which is probably that one we will leave that quest for now we've already got one bandit base to clear up i want to over extend ourselves i think probably a few of the village leaders around here are offering that quest because i think this guy is one of these guys no none of them are offering it okay that's a lot of squires. So how cheap are your olives? It's expensive grain. Not the cheapest olives. Alright, so there's the tournament. We'll definitely participate in this one. Um, let's just sell some goods first. That's an alright price for pottery. We'll just sell a few. Sell some more iron ore. Do we want to sell? I'll sell a few mules. And we can sell some grain. I'll sell a lot of it actually. It's a decent price. Cool. Okay. And uh, let's join the arena tournament. So there's three lords here, so a militia pernak is the prize. I don't know what that is. I think it's a mace thing. Yeah. One-handed mace. So again, this would this would be a good upgrade for us. If we can make it. I don't wanna. cavalry guy now. So otherwise they're gonna sneak up behind me like that and knock me out. Okay, that's one. Okay, cool. Got them all. So now it's a free-for-all. On horseback too is always a bit risky. Um, just querying if we should just focus on killing this guy or try to get a hit on one of the other ones. So this guy is a bit. There we go. One hit on him. Yeah, he got a hit on us. It's always hard to get hits on these guys. There we go, got him. Alright. Now hopefully we can 
kill one of these guys in one shot. Okay, <laughs> didn't quite work, but we got one. The other one's going to be hard to get, though. Might be better if we just get off our horse, honestly. Two damage, wow, another two damage. This guy must have a lot of armor. We are not doing much damage to him at all. There we go, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. He's just gonna let us hit him. Cool, he was tough actually, he had a lot of health. Or a lot of armor, so our hits weren't doing too much. Oh crap, alright, we're on. Nice headshot, that's uh, actually quite lucky. I'm just worried that our guy... Shit, okay, alright. Gotta kill this guy. This guy has so much health, my goodness. Ah, oh, what? One shot. God oh, damn. I knew that was going to happen. It was sort of inevitable that the crossbowman would get a hit in when that guy just did not die. And wow, Orndorff lost to the Vlandian Vulgia. I think Orndorff was the guy that beat us. Oh well, it happens. There's another tournament at Chiaculan, so we can jump in that one and see if we have some success. Yeah, it looks like we leveled up. Didn't help that we weren't at full health, obviously, but, you know, even so. Alright, so we can get veterinary. Halves the chance of your mount becoming lame or dead after it falls in battle. And a governor perk. We can get well strapped, increases your mount's hit points. And mounts of your commander troops have 10% more hit points. So I think we'll go with that one, obviously. That's clearly the better choice. Alright. Let's uh, make our way down. There's so many of the other bandit types, but there's not a lot of um, just like regular looters running around. No, there's some. Okay, Sumter Horse will buy three. Otherwise, I think we'll get a herd penalty if we buy much more. Yeah, we, have to do, we can only buy three. Otherwise, we start to get a herd penalty. Um, That's not a bad price, but I think we can get more. I think we can get more for all of that. But we can join the tournament. Uh, there's three lords here, so the prize is Dawnbreaker, which sounds like it's a sword, to a one-handed sword. Quite a good sword as well. So hopefully we can win this. But we've not had too much luck um, with winning good tournament prizes so far. this guy he looks like a noble lesson the sound he might be a noble or he might be a like a companion type character because companions that like sit in the tavern they'll also um, I'm very worried about getting trounced by a crossbowman here. Oh, what? Damn it. Well, there we go. Um, we'll watch the rest of the map, I suppose. As soon as our guy dies, I think we're disqualified. Maybe not. I would have thought we would have been immediately disqualified. Yeah, okay, we got disqualified. Damn. Our bad luck for the good prizes continues. Uh, it's not so much bad luck as it is me not being very good, but still. Alright, um, we will make our way... Actually, there's some quests here we can do. Honey Tongue Satild's Associates Captured by Bounty Hunters. I think that's a hideout quest as well. 
Okay, we need to level our troops a bit more. Let's fight this, um... I think Dalaga's party is going to catch up to those looters before we do. All these bandits move so fast. We need to buy some... In fact, let's go do that. We'll go buy some saddle horses to increase our party speed. Because we're just not going to catch anything this way. So, let's... Um, yeah, I think saddle horses are pretty cheap. If we buy them, do we get a herd penalty? No, I think they don't count the same. Yeah, okay, we start getting footmen on horses. So we'll just buy... 12 saddle horses. It's so expensive though. I feel like we can get cheaper horses in the Kuzate territory maybe and buy step horses instead of saddle horses. Well, there's a tournament here, we'll join this one. Okay, ornate pauldrons. It's not a bad piece of gear. Crap, he's gonna try to try to grab us. Just want to get on horse back. Should go for that yellow guy that's close. That was a good hit, I have to say. I was impressed that I was actually able to hit that guy. Uh, just fire into that. Okay, I missed all of them. There's like five of them over there and I missed all of them. Oh, green is going to destroy us. One down at least, that helps. Okay. Oh crap, alright. Okay, that, that's actually really lucky. Alright, that's actually incredibly lucky that those two were already sort of damaged and a bit easier to take down. We hit this guy from long range. We hit a shield. So that's actually not bad. Okay, that one missed. Move a bit closer. That was a hit. That hit his shield. Move a bit closer. Come on. Come on. There we go. Got him. Cool. So we're in the next round. Uh, Alright, it's a 1v1, this one. Block. See, I don't know how to do chamber block. I really need to learn. It seems a useful strategy. Our shield bash is actually reasonably effective there. I'm actually surprised. All right, this this is going to be risky. So on these ones, like you either usually you either win the first charge or you lose the first charge. But I guess because these aren't couched lances, they're just spears. Oh, we hit his horse. Would have been better if we hit him, obviously. So it's actually sometimes it's a way it's way harder to defeat them when they're on their on foot. I actually kinda wanna keep them on their horse. It's just so hard to hit. He's too good at blocking. Let's try. Let's try something else. That was a good hit. There we go. Now, hit his shield again. Hit his shield again. Damn it, he got a good hit on us there. 
Yeah, we're running low on health. Shield bash on horseback? No. <laughs> Would have been nice. He just blocks it exactly the right time. There we go. Use this strategy. This seems to seems to work. God, he has so much health. There we go. Finally, there's a bit of a cheesy strategy, but if it works, it works. Oh god, not another one. Okay. All right, we actually got an excellent hit on him there, and he hit our horse, which is lucky for us. Now, if we can get behind him, that's really good. If we can just keep him. In front of us like this. Hey, that was the, the weakest hit to finish him off, but we won the tournament. Another three renowned get the ornate pauldrons. Defeated Erdurand, who I think is, if he's not a noble, he must be a unique companion. Um, do we want to wear the ornate pauldrons? It's a nice upgrade, but they're, again, you know, so much gold. We'll just sell them. And we can actually sell this pottery for a really good price too. So we'll sell all of that. Sell one iron ore. Sell two. Sell three. And do we want to sell the fish? I think we do. All right, 10,000 gold, not bad, not bad. How close are we to clan tier? Oh, I forgot we had those prisoners. Let's ransom them. Should increase our speed. Uh, all right, let's um, maybe make our way through. Oh, we need to clear that bandit cave. Thing is, it would have been good to have a crossbow to do that. So let's see if we can buy a crossbow oh that's so expensive light crossbow my goodness 5.4k that's insane all right forget that <clears throat> we'll keep an eye out for a crossbow but i'm certainly not going to pay 5.4k for one um we'll attack this hideout Passing by the slopes of the mountains, you see an outcrop crowned with the ruins of an ancient fortress. You see armed men moving about. As you listen quietly, you hear scraps of conversation about raids, ransoms, and the best places to waylay travelers. So I'll just wait until nightfall to ambush them. Okay, after waiting for a while, you find a good opportunity to close in undetected beneath the Shroud of the Night. So we'll move in like this. Do we want to take... Yeah, we'll take all the crossbowmen, because ranged units are pretty useful on this um, for the, the hideout battles. And if one of them dies, we can... Uh, We can just pick up their crossbow and bolts, potentially. Ow. That's not good. Why aren't they firing? Oh, wait. I have to put them on... Um... How do I do that again? Fire at will. Are they on fire at will? Now they're on fire at will. I think before they were on hold fire. Yeah, there we go. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, it's these guys that I'm, I was worried about. The ones with throwing weapons, like those javelins. If they hit you, you're gone. Particularly considering I'm at half health. There we go, got him.
but that's why having crossbowmen is useful just to draw them out and pick off the um, the weaker ones and then the decision is do I want to duel the bandit leader at the end and I don't know okay it looks like there's two there I think one of them's got throwing weapons and one of them's got a shield okay that was a good hit he died that was useful Okay, gained a level as well. Increased our athletic skill and our polar. Ow. Ooh. Nice. Crossbowman saved me there. I need to be careful. I'm not giving myself a lot of leeway to defeat the, uh, the bandit leader at the end. It is a shame that all of the bandit hideouts are so similar. It would be really cool if, if I was going to suggest like one feature that I'd like to see ad added to Banner Lord, it would be like bandit hideouts that level up over time the longer they stay there. Um, so maybe this could be like the the most basic bandit hideout, but then you know if if it, if it doesn't get addressed quickly enough, um, the bandit hideout can level up. And maybe then, you know, they'll stop, the bandits will build like palisades and, you know, have rudimentary defenses and you'll actually have to lay siege, a very basic siege, mind you, to the bandit camp. Maybe at the highest level you have to build a battering ram to ram down the gates or something or... Um, it gives some early game opportunities for players to use the engineering skill, which is something that doesn't really get uh, used at all by the player. Um, until they start sieging, and even then, um, cool. I think, yep, that's all the bandits. So now it should be the bandit boss. All right, that's a lot of troops with, um, Shields. I think our guys will get trounced if we fight them all at once. You, you've cut quite, a, cut quite a sway through my men there. Damn you, how about we settle this one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, I'm going to accept because I think I can probably beat you, but I think my men will get absolutely destroyed. It's a shame he's got a shield though, it makes it harder. It's also really hard to see because it's night time. Okay, we won. Nice. Won the battle. And we get 5.3 renown for that. 3 morale, 100% of the loot. We get some prisoners. Bunch of our crossbowmen leveled up, so we'll level all those guys up. We'll make this guy a... I'll just make him a footman because we don't have any footmen. And we need some infantry. Reinforced cape with harness. That's a cool... What does that look like? Oh, a very bandit-like. I think we'll stick with our hood. Um, the rest of the loot's not bad, actually. Frayed woodland leg wrappings. Beer. Can't go wrong with beer. Actually, maybe beer is something we should trade. Okay, and we got a bunch of skill points in charm for completing the quest. We also got 3,000 gold. And we got some extra renown as well. So we are at 45 out of 50 renown, and then we need to um, hire a, uh, a companion, and that will complete our first quest there. Well, we should go after those looters. And we can see Ambard of Seventh now has five relation with us, meaning he will give us the first four tiers, or the first four um, troop unlock slots he has. So let's sell our gear, let's ransom our prisoners, get a nice bit of gold for them. We'll sell all of that, we'll sell that, and we'll sell all of that as well. Uh, sell some of that iron ore. The rest we'll hang on to for now. And we'll start making our way down 
or across I should say and then down into um, into the Asurai territory we do need to heal ourselves a bit though well, we'll make a stop oh, we'll kill these looters and then we'll make a stop at uh, that Imperial City or Tissia we can catch these guys we should catch them there we go uh, I don't want to fight with Dagunek's party because he's going to steal all of our experience. Yeah, we'll have to let them go. I'll just go to Ortizian. See what the price of the horses are along the way. We still need to get some proper horses. See, they're so expensive. I, I swear we can get them for under 200 in the Kuzak territory. I'm pretty sure. We can buy some step horses there, and they'll be a lot cheaper. Uh, let's see. It's not a bad price for fish. We'll sell the rest of our fish. We'll sell the, the two mules. Actually, is there any good crossbow? Simple crossbow. That only costs 1500. Do we want to get that? We'll have to get the uh, the bolts as well, but that's all right. Let's let's buy the crossbow and the bolts. We'll lock them so we don't accidentally sell them back, um, and that'll do for now, I think. There's quite a big difference between these two in terms of damage, but we'll, I don't want to spend too much money. But it would be nice to have a crossbow for some uh, some of those missions, and I think now we'll upgrade our armor as well to leather tunic which is moving off uh, the scholar robe we'll put the scholar robe as our um, civilian outfit for now or should we go padded cloth with strips uh, we'll just go leather tunic okay um, and maybe we'll upgrade the gloves as well to these ones padded van braces All right, I think that's good. I think we'll uh, we'll leave it there. So next episode, we'll probably go down through the Asurai territory, buy some trade goods if we can get good prices on them, and then come up into the Kuzay territory and see what we can sell, see what we can buy there, and then maybe we'll just trek back through the center all the way back to Landia. All right, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you then.